Hello everyone, this is Artisan Tony. I'm on my way to our new home project. I was taking one of my lessons yesterday from SDI online and I got really excited again <laughs> about my new home project because the lesson was about setting up your shop. And uh, when I get to the house, here in a minute I will show you the little space in my basement that's going to become my shop I'll be there in a minute here she is it's funny in the uh, winter things just come just slow <laughs> oh crud I forgot to put it in four-wheel drive as I was saying Things come to sort of a slow grinding halt in the winter um, in construction and the holidays do not make it any better but Barrett and I did get everything cleaned up I think I showed that in the last um, update actually I want to go down there so this is the space leading into my shop this area here is my office just to kind of give you an idea of my, how my shop's going to, going to be set up this is 19 feet across and basically 31 feet in this direction not huge but it should be enough for a small you know home wood shop and um, on that end is where I'm going to put the gunsmithing shop here I will have a utility sink location in the shop. The plumbing turned out a little funky because I have this mezzanine area in here where all the heat and air equipment's going to go. And so they had to come down, come across, then come down. But it'll, it works. That is still eight feet off the floor. So I still have room for cabinets up there. And they got a little close to my door. I'm gonna have a track up here. And I asked them to stay above that header, but I suppose it'll be okay. One of my first projects I'm going to do when I move in is make a huge bifold door. This door is eight by eight and so i'll have two four by eight sheets of three quarter inch cabinet grade plywood and they will basically uh, like a bifold fold back into the shop against that wall there this is going to be kind of neat and sorry i'm getting into some of the architecture not shop layout but <laughs> that plumbing you're seeing there is on the other side of that wall but this plumbing obviously is in this room. So I'm gonna have these panels that drop down that's, that are gonna have lighting in them and that will draw your attention away from you know, plumbing and whatever else. There'll be duct work coming across here. This is funny, I forgot that these are like this. When you buy these uh, ready-made um, Wars bow. Um, this is loose because we don't have the siding on yet, but these will have these little tips on them to keep stuff from getting inside. But I wonder how that would fire out of a shotgun. <laughs> That's for you, Jeff. So, like I was saying earlier, this week's lesson, let's just go to my courses here. And I'll go to this introduction to firearms and scroll down. Here we go. Setting up your shop. This is a very cool lesson. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you do the tedious stuff 
uh, and then you come along to a lesson that's uh, lots of fun and this was especially a lot of fun here now the neat thing about this is this is basically your your curriculum your course materials online and I'll show you what I mean in a second they started off by showing just you know basic layouts and I don't have enough of the screen here selected but I'll show it to you in the book here in a second um, it starts out with some basic layouts and then it moves on up to other layouts and also gives you ideas on workbenches see there very comprehensive uh, look here's another bench very detailed uh, gives you an idea of, of a great bench for a gunsmithing shop and then it even moves on up to uh, the next level say you're uh, you know in-home shop here but you're you're taking on customers and so now you've got a little bit bigger shop and it shows layouts for that gives suggestions for that and then it moves on into the commercial sort of production end of it giving layouts for shops where you would be in a commercial sort of production mode and the book is very comprehensive with labeling uh, these areas and equipment it's just very very cool here's your the uh, legend here with basically a tool and parts list <laughs> for a shop very cool there's a picture of a lathe each little section here you'll do a little self test uh, on that and you can check your answers at the end and here's another layout custom shop but one of the things I was going to show you that's really cool is you go to this these additional resources for each week and you'll scroll down and you'll find week four and here's a video I had to watch and it's setting up your shop and lo and behold who is it <laughs> Eric the man so and again I don't have my screen capture thing set up very well I, I should have probably fixed that but it was a gunsmith basic gunsmithing uh, video uh, by Eric and I'll put um, I'll put a link to it it's pretty cool so like I was saying the this course is pretty cool it's got the you get all of the materials and you can see in one of my previous videos all the material that you get with the course and, and this is the um, introduction to firearms it's one of the courses and if I go back to page 65 uh, like I was saying they start out with these basic layouts but the point I'm trying to make here is is that it's really handy having this reference uh, in your library uh, after the course is completed I kind of thought at first that you know I wasn't going to have access to this stuff after the course was over then I quickly realized that all of the online materials are at your disposal in your library as a part of the course so just invaluable you know uh, information now the fun part for me uh, trying to set up my shop there are uh, some things that are kind of fixed here like over here you'll see I have I have a utility sink with the plumbing already uh, put in and I'll have probably just a little roll away cabinet here because I need to be able to get to that mezzanine and I would have to roll this cabinet out of the way to sit a ladder there uh, the other thing that's kind of fixed in a wood shop, which mine is kind of a comp combined wood shop and gunsmithing shop, is you have your hub for any wood shop is your table saw. And the reason for that is, is that you need a certain distance from here to the wall if you're going to rip down 16 foot material. You basically have to have 16 feet on either side. Now that's pretty rare. Uh, but sometimes I'll take 16 foot 2 by 4s and rip them down to 2 by 2s for, for soffits and things like that. So it's, it's not common for some people, but for a contractor, it's not uncommon at all to have to rip down really long items. So that basically plants your table saw right in the middle. And that means this part of this bench has to pretty much remain flexible. 
But at this end, I plan on having the gunsmithing area where, and again, these are just blocks. These are things you can bring in from the warehouse at, on SketchUp. Um, in other words, I just went and downloaded some of these tools just to show you, give you an idea. Um, but I will have an area here, you know, the drill press. Hopefully it'll be a mini mill, you know, a mill drill, and then just your sort of typical gunsmithing uh, uh, little bench with lighting up here, and then uh, your vise. Uh, and I like the idea, if you watch Eric's video that I'll link to, he has his on a little peninsula, which I think is a great idea. Uh, it allows you to get to, to, you know, around to the sides of things easily. And then you'll have your grinders here, your belt, uh, sander and I, again I don't have all the equipment this is just an idea um, again I, in this corner I have to have some sort of roll away thing because my water heater I've got a tankless water heater that's going right here I didn't show you that but this is the fun stuff guys now let me say this and one of the points that is made in the course is that really all you need is this little area right here there are people who have made um, a very decent living gunsmithing off of a corner in their garage. You don't need all this space. I happen to need it as a contractor. Uh, I even read a story uh, in an article. One of the things I forgot to show you was the uh, in the additional resources there are articles. In one of the articles it, it was talking about a fellow who had a um, a coffee table in his living room where it would open up and become his gunsmithing bench. As a matter of fact, right now, this is all I have. <laughs> this is the only real little bench space that I have. And you saw in another video where I bought this toolbox on eBay and it has started to come in handy already. And then this other one, I forgot I bid on, I want it. Uh, which is cool. I'm going to start stocking it soon. But honestly, you could do, <laughs> you could build ARs here, certainly clean your guns, and do lots of little projects just right here. So you don't need a lot of space. So I think I'm going to go outside and take advantage of some of this sunshine, <laughs> and then I will go back in and edit this video. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Um, check out Sonoran Desert Institute's website. I mean, they're a great bunch of guys. If you've ever uh, met Zeke uh, Stout, he's a really great guy. He's part of SDI, and I uh, just can't say enough good things about them. And they have, you know, options on uh, financing. You know, like they have the GI Bill, uh, that kind of thing. I'm not quite sure in the course when the 308 build starts. I've got to decide how I'm going to mill out that lower. I don't have a mill drill yet. I've got a drill press, but I've been watching a lot of videos. That's not exactly the best way to do it. Um, so I have to decide whether I'm going to in invest in a you know a small mill drill or what. So if, if any of you gunsmiths or any of you guys out there that work on guns um, have an idea of a cheap way to get into a you know a mill drill uh, let me know in the comments I'd appreciate it but anyway <laughs> this video has been long enough thanks guys <laughs>